thank you, Kenneth. Uh, yeah, I talked to Jim yesterday and this morning again, and uh, he has a few notes he, he asked me to pass on to you all. And um, first off, uh, you know, he starts most of his uh, industry updates talking about some of the legislation. We, you know, the state legislative sessions and about uh, what's it's past the midway mark now. It's I think they're going into June 10th, and they have uh, two important um, issues that he asked me to um, to pass on. Senator Arland had a um, proposed uh, legislation to uh, protect state and uh, landowners from cleanup issues uh, dealing with the solar solar panels. Uh, you know, I'm sure of you. You all have heard and talked to growers who have been approached and landowners who are wanting answers and uh, what, what should they do because they, uh, you know, they got these solar companies and solar outfits that are really um, pushing hard to put in some of these installations. But um, we uh, we are always uh, keen on uh, you know property owner rights and. Um, Certainly not against solar energy if it's if it's the right fit, but we want to make sure that owners of land and farmers um, are included uh, are not faced with uh, cleanup. Um, you know, learning from the oil industry, we have a lot of these orphan wells that are out there that back when these wells were put in in the early in the 1900s, early 1900s, and uh, we didn't have a lot of infrastructure and a lot of um, a lot of this uh, legislative support, you know, l like we do now. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we're not faced with some of the same things. Should uh, some of these solar panel, uh, you know, in 10 years, new technology comes out, new um, and, and, you know, they decide they're going to um, call it quits and do something else uh, or whatever. And, uh, and the landowner is faced with a lot of uh, cleanup. And uh, if they have legislative uh, session, uh, le le legislative support to um, make sure that uh, you have a multi-stage permitting process. And that's what this uh, this bill does. It's, uh, it's just to help protect the landowners. Um, the other thing uh, in line with that, uh, a lot of the uh, parishes are being pitted against each other to, um, you know, this uh, industrial tax exempt program. Uh, uh, Clay Shexnot is offering this proposed legislation to uh, suggest a moratorium on um, on this um, tax exempt programs uh, for these solar uh, outfits. It's not needed and uh, it just causes a lot of uh, uh, animosity between uh, regions and parishes uh, or being pitted against each other for these tax breaks. Um, so anyway, that's the two things that uh, he asked me to um, pass on in a state legislative session. Um, nationally, uh, you know, we've been working with the IR4 program to help them increase their budget. We've used IR4 uh, for several um, instances over the last several years. Uh, Kenneth and, and uh, I have been, and Blake and Al Ogeron have been uh, in, in with the uh, IR4 program more so it's a it's a very useful program to us but uh that budget uh they, they've been running at uh it's down to 11.9 million and they will at one point they were up to uh 18 18 million and you know they we're trying to get it up back up to 20 million so we joined efforts with uh with this commodity liaison committee to um to try to increase the budget, offer some amend, some uh, proposal uh, legislation, uh, appropriations uh, language to uh, to help with that effort. And uh, we joined in on that. Um, oh, another thing he asked I me mean, to uh, talk about is the Kinder Morgan pipeline uh, issues. I mean, a lot of a lot of growers are being faced with um, Kinder Morgan's trying to block access to uh, because uh, the cover over pipelines has diminished to the point where uh, it's it's um, it's might it's going to start causing problems cultivating over these pipelines and um, it's been uh, quite an issue. Several growers are being faced with it uh, over in on the Tesh and uh, Jim has met with them and 
trying to come to some kind of agreement uh, to uh, to help that um, that issue along also. Um, on the national front, um, you know, there's much a lot of discussion on sustainability and carbon credits, and uh, some some growers I know have been um, approached to uh, to sign up and uh, you know to uh, create carbon banks and uh, using sugarcane um, to uh, as a carbon for these carbon credits, and um, you know they've um it, it there's a lot there there's a lot of potential there but we are making sure that um you know that also is uh thoroughly thought out um you know some some growers are already um using minimal cultivations and doing some uh some some work to um to decrease uh, our carbon footprint, we're, we're trying to to see just where sugarcane stands. I think sugarcane probably will be a, a good, a big player, a potential um, leader in in this um, carbon sequestration efforts. Uh, but we are working with. Uh, you might have seen a Food and Agriculture Climate Alliance (FACA). F A C A. Uh, Jack Pettis is on one of the um, steering committees and, and looking at crafting language and offering um, language to, to help facilitate that program, uh, suggesting that a USDA um, conservation um, programs would be included in that and uh, creating a carbon bank. Um, so that that's in its infancy. We are following it, and we are trying to uh, to do what we can to make sure that there's any uh, additional uh, benefits that our growers can can get from that. Then we can be in in line and um, help with that effort to uh, make sure that we're uh, in on that. So, other than that, you know, farm bill uh, can we got a new con a lot of new congressional members that we continuing to educate and um, so that continues to uh, to be um, part of our um, efforts trying to get uh, monies to complete the facilities at USDA in Homa offering some appropriation language there and also to uh, to help um, with collaborative efforts between USDA and LSU to uh, to get more monies into the Ag Center as well so um, that's Kenneth, kind of, that's uh, kind of a, uh, a mile high a view of what's going on now on that front. Um, any questions, I'll be sure to ask Jim. <laughs> I don't know if I can answer them, but if I can, I will.